I remember after high school, I used to work in this retail shop and um, I, I used to work there as a key holder. So, you know, a lady came in, uh, she had like a little boy and then a baby. So I set up the fitting room for her. As she was about to try on this, I said, like, oh, can you hold on to uh, the baby for me? So I'm like, okay, sure. So as I was about to reach onto the baby, the little boy goes like, the baby doesn't like black people. Mm. And this is me, my face is like, wow. say what? Wow. In my head, I'm like, in my head, I'm just, say that again mm-hmm. you know i'm like did i hear him right yeah oh wait am i just hearing voices now mm-hmm. like that was my reaction i was just stunned and in my head the first thing that came into my head where is this child hearing this from is it from mm-hmm. home is it from tv is it from the parents are the parents racist are, you know everything was just i i felt mixed emotions right away but then again i also knew that it, you know the boy was very little it's a child so I'm just thinking okay charity begins at home you know and that's what they tell us when we were growing up so everything the mom was like I am so sorry like you know the mom was like he he was very little I don't think he was even up to five Oh, yeah so to me that was very surprising to me and funny enough as I went back to the back room I broke down oh sorry I was so sad because I just felt that I was in a very safe environment Mm. and a safe place and it happened happened. Mm -hmm. so it it was just an eye-opener for me I was just like oh wow like you know this actually does exist so it, it doesn't take people anything to let you know you are black and your skin color is different and I need to let you know your skin color is very different from mine 